Okay, focus on your breath and allow the breath to be comfortable. You want to be able to settle in right here so you can see your mind clearly. So you need to have a comfortable place to stay. Otherwise, the mind will get antsy and start jumping around all kinds of places. So see what kind of breathing feels good for you right now. It could be heavy breathing, light breathing, long, short, shallow, deep, fast, slow, any combination of those. You want the mind to get in a place where it can see things clearly, so that when you reflect on the past, you reflect clearly. When you think about the future, you think clearly. Meditation is not just a matter of being in the present moment. You want to stay here, but you also realize that what you're doing here right now depends on things done in the past, and it's going to be shaping the present and the future. So there are times when it's useful to reflect in all directions. Like when we think about the past, one of the things the Buddha has to do is think about the people who've helped us and have a sense of gratitude for all the help that they've done. Because that encourages us to think about what good we can do for ourselves and for other people to carry on the goodness that was, has been done for us. After all, they've invested in us, our parents in particular, our teachers, other people. They took time and energy to invest in us. So let's see the investment. Where is it going? You want to take good care of what you've got from them, and then you want to be able to pass it on to others so that the investment was well made and that it reflects back well on them as well. So as you're sitting here, you, sometimes you think about where you're going, where you've been. Some people like to focus on the horrible things in the past. Well, focus on the good things, the things that, especially the kindness that other people did for you, because that reminds you that other people need your kindness too. As I say, the sign of a good person is gratitude. Because if you don't appreciate the goodness that's been done for you, it's very difficult for you to do goodness for other people. It's very hard to be generous. It's hard to be virtuous around them. Because you don't really appreciate what's been done for you. But if you do appreciate it, it makes all the difference. You realize you depend on the help of lots and lots of people. They took the time and the energy. It's not always easy to be helpful. But they took the time and energy, so you should appreciate that and feel grateful for what they've done. And try to respond both in kindness to them and in kindness to others. Pass that goodness along. That's how thinking about the past and thinking about the future can be really helpful here in the present moment. It gives you the energy to keep on doing the right thing. And as you look around us in the world, we see that a lot of people who don't have that energy are not using it. So you can be your one person who does. You can take your stand. You're going to do what's skillful. You're going to do what's right, both out of gratitude to the people who have helped you and out of compassion for yourself and the people that you would like to help.